So welcome back to Gabriela Gap Prod. And today we have a challenge instead of a tutorial, because I was wondering if I could make 10 effects in 10 minutes. I know 10 very basic effects, but still it's 10 minutes, which will give me uh, a minute for each one. And I've limited myself to only use 3 textures, these ones. And 2 materials for each texture, one brighter and the other one normal. Plus, I'm gonna use the Unity Particle system because I'm quicker and the countdown will only start once I create the Particle system. Right, so let's begin this new challenge. The first effect will be some sparks. On your mark and... I still have time to rename these to sparks and they need a random lifetime between 3 and 8 perhaps and random speed between 5 and 12, something fast and a very small start size like 0 0.01 and 0 0.15 and yeah, maybe an orange color will do it just fine. Oh, and random gravity will add a nice touch like 2 and 6. Let's increase the emission something like 50, that should be enough. Here we go, let's rotate this. It's in a cone shape, but the radius could be smaller like 0.1. And yeah, let's assign the material, perhaps the flame 0.2 with more intensity. Oh, and it's stretched billboard, length scale of 2 and speed scale of 0.05. Oh, and we still have time for collisions with world, bounce of 0 0.5 and dampen of 0 0.5. And I think we still have time for size over lifetime, where they shrink towards the end. And that's it, here we go. Some quick sparks done in one minute. Yeah, this one was alright, it's not that hard. Now, this one is a little bit more challenging. I had to create four particle systems. An impact. Let's start with a bright flash, quick one, which means we don't need shape, we need an emission of 1 in the burst, size of 5, quick lifetime 0 0.1, no speed, orange color, yes indeed, and it's gonna go from big to small with the size of a lifetime, and I'm gonna use the brightest flare I have, I'm gonna duplicate it for a flash that lasts a while longer and is small to a dull orange, that's it, duplicate the first one for a black background, which means I need to say the order in layer is minus 1, and can be bigger like 10 and live longer like 0 0.8 and black color and then duplicate the first one for some particles which are going to be very small like 0 0.1 and then 0 0.3 and a lifetime between something like 0 0.2 and 0 0.8 and yes we need speed between 5 and 15 an emission of perhaps 20 particles and shape of a sphere that will do just fine oh and random gravity between 0 and 2 and stretched billboard also down here and I think that's pretty much it, we can increase their size let's see how it is, I think we have done one minute yeah, oh, there we go that was challenging it took me a while to get it right in one minute yeah, we could make the particles smaller anyway, I'm gonna rename this to impact and the next one is also very challenging which is an implosion I'm gonna start with the particles that come from the outside gathering energy. I'm gonna set the duration 0 0.8 and no looping. Lifetime something small and concise like 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. And speed minus 15, so they go from outside to inside to minus 20. Start size 0 0.1 and 0 0.3, perhaps a blue color like this one. And rate over time, this one needs to be a curve where it starts at 100 and then towards the end it's 0. Shape, yes indeed, in a sphere, big as sphere, 10 radius, and the size it's gonna be something that goes from big to small, and color they fade out at the beginning, since we are gathering energy. Alright, and then we can say it's stretched particles down here, speed scale of 0 0.05, I'm gonna use the brightest flare I have, I'm gonna add a new particle system, for a particle system of one particle that has a lifetime of one and it's not going to loop and it's not going to move, start size it's gonna be 5, and blue color 0 for the rate over time and one particle for the count, and then we have a size that grows. Oh, and let's add brightest flare I have here, alright, here we go, implosion in one minute, I could have done it faster. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna rename this to Implosion because the next one is also a little bit challenging even though it's super common, which is a fire in one minute. Right, so, I'm gonna start with a particle system that has a lifetime between 0 0.8 and 2.3 and speed is going to be slow, like 1 and 3. Size, 0 0.8 and 2.3. Random rotation, yes indeed, 360 and minus 360 and we don't need color for now, but we need to say that the shape, the angle is 12 and the radius is 0 0.5 
and the emission the rate is 40. I'm gonna drag the flame 0 to the brightest I have. I'm gonna turn on color of a lifetime so it's dark at the end and bright in the beginning like an orange for example. Yeah, something more or less like this, that should do it. Oh, nice. Push the black color to the beginning. And I'm still going to duplicate this one. Assign the flare, the brightest one that I have. And increase the lifetime for some particles. And increase the radius and make the size smaller. Like 0 0.05 and 0 0.2. And here we go. We have fire with embers. Look at it. Oof. All right, all right, pretty cool for one minute, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna rename this to fire. And the next one, it's also very challenging, took me a while to get it right. Which is a tornado. I have a text that will allow me to create a tornado. I'm just gonna paste the save transform position. And then I'm gonna say the random lifetime is between 1.2 and 1.6. And the speed, it doesn't need speed, perhaps something small like 0 0.5. But the size, it's 0 0.8 and 1.2. And it's very important that it is 3D rotation random. The Z is going to be 360 and the X is gonna be 70 and 80. I'm gonna increase the rate over time. I'm gonna turn off shape. And I'm gonna say the velocity over lifetime is between 0 0.8 and 1 in the Z axis and then I'm gonna assign the swirl, the brightest one that I have. I'm gonna control the tornado with this size over lifetime, this curve right here. It doesn't need to start super small and with the gradient the last key is gonna be faded and it's gonna be a bluish color, very light blue color, something like this. As you can see we already have a tornado pretty much done. And now I'm gonna say it's in world position, so we can move it around and it will leave some particles behind. We can scale this as well, a little bit, and here we go. Tornado in under one minute. Very basic tornado. I could have used rotation over lifetime, like 360 adds a nice touch to this. I could have done uh, plenty of things, but it's one minute that we have, boys. We don't have that much time. And it's done. Tornado. One minute. Oh, this one is interesting, like hyperdrive effect, you know, when you go in space super fast. Let me just reposition the part of the system and rotate it towards the camera, that's very important, otherwise the effect doesn't work. I'm gonna have a very small start size. And a random speed between 12 and 25. Increase the rate over time to 50, as you can see we already have something. I'm gonna select a bluish color, something like this, yeah, that should do it. And I'm gonna say stretched particles, speed scale of 0 0.1, maybe more, 0 0.2. And I'm gonna use the brightest flare I have. I'm gonna say the blue is a little bit whiter, and I'm gonna use the color of a lifetime so it's faded in the beginning, so it seems like it comes from really far. And I'm gonna duplicate this, make it a black color, duplicate again, and choose something a little bit more purple. Here we go, under one minute hyperdrive effect. <laughs> Look at it. It looks like an hyperdrive effect if you think about it. With the right camera position and all. We could increase a little bit the radius, like 3, so it don't start from the center. Yeah, here we go, hyperdrive effect. Super fast feeling of motion. Alright, this next one is easy, it's gonna be a smoke. We just need to get motion right. I'm gonna reset the transform, rotate it minus 90 degrees in the X and a random lifetime between 3 and 4 and a very slow start speed and a small start size as well, not that big but random rotation is important, otherwise it will look all the same emission around 50 in a cone shape, yes indeed, with a small radius and a small angle I'm gonna use the flame with the normal brightness and then with the color of lifetime I'm gonna give it Transparency at the end, black color in the beginning, white color at the end as well. Push this a little bit up and we still have time for... Maybe push this key more or less around here. But we still have time for the size of our lifetime. So this starts a little bit smaller, something like this. And we still have time for velocity of a lifetime, so we can say they go a little bit to the side with a curve in the y-axis, so they basically only go to the sides as if it was wind, you know. Alright, we have smoke, boys. Yeah, this one was okay, but I almost missed the one minute mark because of a few misclicks, you know. Still, smoke in a minute. 
Now this next one is pretty cool. In a minute we will have electricity. So new particle system reset to transform and push it up in the Y axis. Let's use a sphere for this one and say the start speed is something like crazy 15 and 25 and the start lifetime is super short like 0.05 and 0.15 and let's bump up this rate over time to 100 and choose a yellow orange color so it looks like electricity and in the render I'm gonna use the I'm actually gonna turn on trails and then assign the brightest flare I have to the trail material yeah this is way too big so the start size is gonna be small like 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 Maybe even less, 0 0.01 and 0 0.1, yeah. The cool thing is when we turn on noise and increase the strength to 10 and we immediately start seeing electricity. Maybe the radius could be smaller, like 0 0.5 and the strength even higher and the frequency as well, yeah. Look at it, awesome stuff. In under just one minute. This one is so cool and it's the quickest one we can do. Looking good. I'm just going to rename it to electricity and the next one is something that I thought would take longer, but it's actually very simple. It's a shockwave. So yeah, new particle system reset transform, push it in the Y axis and it's gonna be a short lifetime, 0.6, no speed, it's gonna be static, 10 for the size and random rotation and then we don't want rate over time, we want a burst of only one particle, no shape, I'm gonna say the duration is 1 so it loops more often and the color lifetime it's gonna be transparent at the end and then it all comes down to turning on size over lifetime and then switching with the swirl max particle size to 3 otherwise if it is close to the camera it will shrink and then render mode to horizontal billboard and here we go we have a shockwave another thing we can do is duplicate this one say the start size is 2 very small lifetime for a flash and the size over lifetime is gonna be the opposite and here we go we just need now to say it's billboard and assign the brightest flare and we have a cool shockwave look at it one minute that's an interesting effect it could even have two for the count of the shockwaves, just just because. All right, and the final one is the hardest one, which is how to create a shield with only what we have here. And in one minute, right? So that's gonna be crazy. It took me a few attempts to get the timings right. So right click particle system, start lifetime of one for a static sprite, size of five and a very dull blue color. No shape, but a rate of a time of 1. Color of a lifetime where we will fade in the beginning and fade in the end. 3 for the max particle size and we need the swirl for this one. Duplicate it. We are going to create a black background. We are going to use the normal flare with a dark color. 10 for the size and no color of a lifetime and then we are going to duplicate the first one because we want some spinning swirls which means we need a 3d start rotation random between 360 and minus 360 in all of the axes a short but a consistent lifetime between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 and then an emission of 10 and now it all comes down to turning on rotation of a lifetime separate axis and 360 for each axis and now an even duller blue and here we go all we gotta do is say the black background is minus one and we have our shield done. Very, very, very quick shield, you know, in just one minute. This one was hard to get it right, but it turned out interesting with only two textures and only one minute. So that's it, guys. Challenge completed. It was very interesting and very fun to do this. So here we go. Sparks, impact, implosion, flames, tornado, hyperdrive, smoke, electricity, shockwave and shield all done in one minute or very very close and with only three textures I think it's an interesting challenge let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you want to see more stuff like this one I just want to say this is all possible thanks to my patrons if you decide to support me you keep the channel running and you get plenty of assets for your game visual effects assets there's a huge library waiting for you so you can use in your games or to study up close. Links below and it would be super much appreciated. Talking about patrons, I want to say thank you to each one of them that supported me last month. And as usual, a quick shout out to the top tier patrons, which are 
Alberto Sajeres, Alexander Brazy, Alan Alstead, Avia Tobali, Cyber Cradle, CZ Chai, Daniel Schmidt, Danielius, David Blissett, Diaku, Diego Marks, Doom, Eric Arner, Funk Striker, Frosty Forty, Rev Lab, Jared Billy, KC Miller, Lee Ann Olt, Lutuli, Matt Moran, Max, Mike Bell, Nikolai Adamski, Milos, Nat Sims, Nikolai Yalnazov, Oitsk, Pradip Sen, Radioactive Bullfrog, Revenant Games, RVR, Cyan, Sean Aguilar, Travis McCollum, Barry Suta, Whatever Marta, Will Poilian, Begina Zero, Dong Mao Dong, Jim Pyong Lin, and Min Jae Kim. Thank you all very very much for your support. You guys keep this channel going and you keep me going. So I hope you have all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for watching and bye.